Hi, this is Tech again, and today I want to do part 2 of the PCIe 2.0 guides. Now this time it will be AMD cards, and the mods are completely different, whereas we had uh, software mods with the NVIDIA cards, we are going to do hardware mods for the AMD ones. Originally, the capability of uh, C690 to run 2.0 with old stuff was, was actually discovered on AMD by Sol de Croissant from Team Wag. He just happened to have some uh, Apple HD 4870s and those just ran 2.0. Uh, from there we basically sort of reverse engineered it and Forks finally found basically a universal mod for those cards. Now this here, what we have here is a datasheet or rather a uh, schematic from a Radeon 5870. And our important part here is this GPIO2 pin here. It says 5.0 uh, transfers per second enable. So uh, by default it's driver controlled or I guess maybe board controlled uh, Gen 2 and one is strap controlled Gen 2. So basically what this means is that we pull if we pull uh, GPIO too high, uh, we are hard forcing the card to run uh, PCIe Gen 2. Uh, now this GPIO 2 pin can be found at one of the Crossfire connectors. Here we have two Crossfire connectors, one of them has it. Uh, here we have it, GPIO pin 2. As you can see, it's like the second pin in. And I'm going to show you this in practice and show you how to, well, locate these strap resistors because some cards have strap resistors and also a option for what to do if your card doesn't. So with that, let's move on to the uh, bench and give you some examples. So here we are. Now let's start with the oldest card. This is a HD 4870, but not the Mac edition, it's just a regular old, I uh, think, Sapphire card, yeah. So, as we said, two pins in on the rear Crossfire connector, on the back. So this Crossfire connector and on the back. And then we go one, two, and that should be our pin. That is the GPIO2. I think I, I got one of the ground pins in here now. I went three pins in. Should be 10 kilo ohms, yes. This is the case where you have resistors on the card. Let's zoom in. And if you have resistors on the card, this is going to measure 10 kilo ohms usually. And on some cards, they are going to be directly underneath this crossfire finger. But on this one, uh, I suspect it to be one of those resistors here. Now, those strap resistors basically have two positions and that's, that's the easy way to find them because you can switch between uh, it con being connected to 3.3 volts and it being connected to... Yeah, there we go. That's our uh, strap resistor in this case. And so this is the, the middle basically. There is three pads here. And so the side that it should be connected to should be ground. Exactly. You're not seeing the whole multimeter, that's not good. Uh, so here's ground. And this side is our 10K and connected to up here. Perfect. So in with this specific card, the easiest way to mod it would be just to move this resistor down here. This would be 3.3 volts. As you can see 25 kilo ohms or something. Uh, just move it down here and your card will run 2.0 on C690. Now, the next case, this is a HD 5870 now. 
you get the same same pad here. But as you can see, it's it's not really measuring anything. And that is, I can't zoom in any further, fortunately, because we do not have any resistor here. But if we check, this pad here is going to be connected to this middle pad. And from there it is easy enough, we can just check one side, one of the outer pads should be ground. Top one is ground in this case. Bottom one is a couple ohms, a couple of thousand ohms actually. And in this case, the easiest way to get 2.0 running would be to just grab a 10K or thereabouts resistor and connect it between this pad and the bottom pad. Value doesn't need to be exact, but it might work if you just short it, but I would absolutely say use a resistor, just salvage a something between two and 10 kilo ohm resistor from some other GPU or just use a SMD resistor. So that's the easiest way for this one. And then there is the real difficult case. Well, there's also a solution for this, obviously. This is a 6950. And again, if we measure, get in here, to measure between this second pin here, we again have no connectivity, but we also don't have any pads in this area or in this area or anywhere on the card. Uh, so it's not as easy with this one. And that's where my little universal solution for this problem comes in. This little thing here. As you can see it's a crossfire bridge, hot glued to the controller PCB from a 2.5 uh, inch hard drive. Now, why did I do this? Well, basically what this thing does is it has a SATA power connector here and SATA power connectors have 3.3 volts on them. So all I'm doing here is grabbing the 3.3 volts from the SATA power and then I have a 1 kilo ohm or 2 kilo ohm resistor here, can't remember exactly which I used, and a little wire that goes to the exact uh, exact pin 2 here on the crossfire bridge. So what I can do is just get this crossfire bridge and plug it into the rear one. That's why it says front, that's to the front of the card. I can also plug it in this way in case it would be in the way of the pot because like the same wires are on the same side on both sides of the crossfire connector and plug in a SATA power and I have uh, version 2 on any AMD card. That's why I use uh, 1 or 2 kilo ohms here so that it also works on one of those cards that has a resistor there because then there is lower resistance to 3.3 uh, volt than there is to ground. And that's how you get uh, PCIe 2.0 on any AMD card. Uh, yeah, now with this little thingy you can obviously make something else yourself. Basically all that matters is that you have a crossfire bridge or a crossfire connector, even you can just cut off the bridge if you just want uh, the single connector and hook it up to uh, either SATA or just 3.3 volt wire from something else. All, all that really matters it is that you have 3.3 volts applied to GPU IO2 pin of your GPU. So yeah, that's it. I hope this will help some. Some of you that didn't see the forum post by Forks ages ago, or maybe some of you that wanted, had some questions about it and hope that this made it easier. Bye.